Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm ABP Wargamer Jason, and today I'm going to show you the Alien role-playing game by Free League. This is the uh, newest release um, of anything Alien gaming related um, as of uh, 2020. Uh, so um, I'm just going to kind of go through, here's the, uh, the custom card deck, the expansion, Chariots of the Gods, and the actual book. And then later, in another video, I'll show you the old uh, game from 1993, which is the um, Aliens Adventure Game. Um, actually, wait, no, this is 1991. Aha, 1991, um, based off the 1986 movie. You can see that that old book was very loved, but this video is all going to be about this, this game. Now, if you like what you are seeing, you can support me on Patreon at AVP Wargamer. Uh, you can find me on all sorts of social media, and you can join our, our gaming group uh, on Facebook called AVP Wargamer. And you can see more content from me and other awesome people in the community. Now, uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So Free League released this very, very, very thick uh, book. I got it from Amazon, um, but they didn't really pack it well, so it got dinged up and it wasn't shrink-wrapped when I got it. So um, uh, just shipping may vary. But regardless, it did survive um, the, the trip through the mail and... Uh, we'll just kind of go page by page and I'll show you what it's all about. So here we go. We have the um, uh, both the front and the back pages are this uh, this star map, which I really like. And then um, over here you have the former site of Sevastopol from the, um, the Alien um, Isolation game. And then we have Archron over here, LV-426 over here. And then it has all these other planets. Um, included in their star map. And uh, that's the one thing I love about roleplay games is when they give you uh, things like this to look at and uh, design your games off of. So we're going to go right in. We got table contents. Kind of goes through all the different sections. Space is hell. It's got a lot of cool quotes from the movies in here as well as other uh, like uh, just uh, storytelling things. The, uh, now, i, I got to be honest, I haven't spent that much time with this book yet. Um, I did kind of, I read a f about a few of the alien uh, creatures in here, and I've just kind of briefly looked through it. we got a timeline of the alien universe, which is pretty nice. Uh, Careers in the Frontier, and it just basically kind of just sets you up for uh, for the game and kind of the, the setting. And instead of Game Masters, we have the Game Mother. That's very, very fun. Um, you know, this, this book is, you know, all in one. It tells you, you know, how to role play and how to create role play games. So your, um, your other players don't really need this book. Just the game master does. So it just kind of tells what the role playing game is. Blah, blah, blah. Kind of sets you up. All right. Here we go. We talk about cinematic play, campaign play, career, attributes. Just go over the basics of any gaming system. Skills and talents, personal agendas, uh, buddies and rivals. These are all different sections on the um, the character sheet. So it just kind of tells you how to fill it out. Uh, buddies and rivals and personal agenda. That's kind of cool because that gives you hidden agendas that may or may not help the other players. And anytime you have some inner conflict between the characters, um, it's always fun, even if it's against the NPCs. Um, it makes it interesting to storytelling. Uh, that's a cool image. It looks like a lot of original artwork just for this book. All right, so here's the different um, characters you can be in the game. You can be a colonial marine. You can be a colonial marshal. Company agent. A child. A kid. A medic. An officer. A pilot. A roughneck scientist and that's it so those are the different classes you can be i'm sure you know and you know as you're you're creating your own games you can do pretty much whatever you want but those are just some good ones to kind of pick from all right rolling the dice um talks about your different chances there's a a, a d100 or a percent percentile dice um i think this game uses a lot of d6s so six-sided dices are are the main use um, of this, which is pretty interesting. And you can also get custom dice that actually show uh, different symbols on them. 
I'll have to pick up some of those later. All right. Uh, da da Kind of just goes through your skills, your stamina. That looks like Ripley. Uh, piloting, ranged combat, uh, stunts, observation, medical aid. Now, if you notice, this has got really large font. I mean, I'm sure they could have made this book half this size, but the nice thing about the large font is it helps you kind of go through and, you know, makes it really easy to read. Scientist talents, roughneck talents. And what I would do when I do my roleplay games is I would, um, uh, whatever talents or, or skills you're going to have your characters have, I'd have them write down what the skill actually does on their sheet so that you're not looking in the book uh, once the game has started. And you have me movement, detection, actions and initiative. Kind of goes through movement. Close combat, which if you're in close combat with an alien, you're probably not going to survive. <laughs> Talks about retreating and blocking resolutions. Probably a little too much information in here, but you know, if you like a crunchy rule set, then, you know, it's in here for you if you need it. More, I think, ammo cover. Getting back up. Critical injuries. Dying. Uh, here's a critical injury, injury chart. It's a D66 uh, chart. So you roll two dice and uh, come up with whatever happens. So that's kind of fun, having those random tables. Stress and panic. Vacuum of space, freezing, exhaustion, diseases. It's got all kinds of stuff. It talks about synthetics, uh, injuries on synthetics, uh, ve vehicular combat. Uh, it's got uh, stuff for aerial vehicles, damage vehicles, space. It's got all sorts of vehicle stuff in here. Here we go weapons and armor. Rifles, that's pretty cool. It tells you the cost of these items too, you know, how much they're worth. You got pulse rifles and different kinds of weapons that they have in the future here. Power loader, there we go. Suits and armor. Uh, it talks about that Wayland Utani Ape suit. Power loader, pressure suits, compression suits, personalized armor. This kind of covers everything in the AV, the alien universe here. Diagnostics, tools, vision devices, pharmaceuticals, medical supplies, food and drink. It's got costs and all this kind of stuff, even your liquor. Um, here's some of the vehicles. Now these are really nice little diagrams of the vehicles. See a nice good look at what they are. I really like these artist re renderings. They're pretty nice. The Wayland Yutani uh, suborbital transport sled and crane. I believe that's from Alien Covenant. Amongst the stars. Hypersleep. Light speed. It really just goes into depth about everything here. Spaceships. A lonely Life, Space Stations, talks about Archon, Archaeological Stations, Living Quarters. Like, if you like the Alien movies, this is really cool just because it just goes so in-depth on everything. I'm going to do some more videos on different kinds of resource books for the Alien universe. Even some of the game guides for, like, even the crappy game Aliens Colonial Marines um, has got really good um, write-ups on on all the lore uh, behind all the different companies and it has maps and all kinds of cool stuff. So it's I think it's worth picking up. Uh, cryo deck, docking bay, cargo bay, salvage crane. Okay, here we go. Here's just the prices of everything in the future. So if you're going to build a ship, there you go. You know, $300 million for this, a million for that. Here's the Corvus ship. What it's armed with. Upgrades. 
spaceships of 2183 AD. So we're 163 years into the future here. All right, um, different kinds of shuttles. Here's the bison from the Nostromo, which is the uh, towing vehicle. Talks about space combat. So if you wanna have some ship battles, you can. Like you don't even have to encounter an alien. You can just have some big corporate battles in space. And then here's the Sulaco. Actions, damages, reports, space combat rolls. This just keeps going on and on and on. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. All right. Your major job as mother. Here's what you do as the game master. Yada yada. Themes. How to do, deal with stress and honor. How to set up fear, cinematic play, campaign play. So you could really do this game any way you want. You could have it more of like an exploration. You could do it like as a combat simulator. You could do all sorts of stuff in this game. Now here's the cool part. Here's here's something I haven't found in any other, other books out there. This talks about all the different governments and companies in the future. So you have the United Americas, what they're all about and what their conflicts are. The Union of Progressive Peoples. The Independent Core System Colonies. Interstellar Commerce Commission. The Whaling yutani Corporation. Uh, let's see, Laz Lazali, Bionational. I think that's how you say that. Uh, here's the, the company from Alien Isolation that makes the cheap synthetics. All right, now we get into systems and planets. So this is just tells you like about different sectors and what planets there are in those sectors. Kind of goes through and tells you, you know, kind of what the, each section of the map is about. And the Fiora system and all of that. Hold on a second. There we go. The Outer Rim Territories. Colonies. Different systems. Frontier. Just... You could just pick a section in this book and just make an entire game around it if you really wanted to. Talks about all the different star systems. Now we get to the alien species. All right, so we have the engineers uh, talked about in here, kind of what they're all about, and about the um, the black goo, uh, what that's all about. Uh, the engineers technology. It actually kind of explains them pretty well. The xenomorphs. Neomorph, another Xenomorph series, talks about all the different types of uh, creatures that the aliens turn into with the facehugger, ah, chest burster, the Bambi burster, gets into it about all the different breeds of Xenomorphs. Even talks about drones and stalkers and the crusher. The Praetorian. It gets it covers everything. And this has got everything, even from AVP um, from uh, the Hunt Begins from Protoss Games, it covers all those creatures in here as well. So that's pretty awesome. So if you need miniatures, you can obviously pull from that collection. All right, other species, the swarm. Now the swarm is kind of like a locust type of alien that um, it, it appeared in one of the uh, the books uh, as a short story. And these, uh, these creatures would basically strip everything down to the bare metal. Um, so any organicness, they would just strip down. Uh, pretty dangerous. Harvesters, uh, these, this is like a, um, a type of burrowing creature. Um, we got lion worms, um, makes me think of doom. Uh, and, and then the sandworms. 
um, the uh, Tanaka and Scorpions. And that's it. So not not very many alien creatures in here. Just a, just a few extras to kind of flavor it up, but it doesn't really get into it. All right, campaign play, teamwork. Talks about the Marines again, creating a star system. So you can create your own star systems and your own planets too, which is pretty awesome. I mean, we're exploring space here, so it's limitless of what you can do. Um, ice planet terrain tables. We've got all these different terrain tables. Uh, company allegiances. So you can actually randomly roll up a lot of this stuff. Um, you can randomly roll up jobs. So if you want a really random game, you can just roll for it. And these all these tables help you roll up all those different things. So if you have no imagination, just <laughs> You can randomly generate all of that kind of stuff. Um, here's your encounter tables. Different terrain tables. Oh my gosh, this has got so many tables. Non-player characters. It's got uh, just uh, pre-made stats for just like marshals and managers and, and different kinds of scientists and experts. It's got a station overview. And then we get in some of the really cool stuff here. So we have our little uh, diagram of the space station. You even have all the floors of the space station here. So if you really want to get into it, you, as the game master, can keep track of where the alien is in this station as the characters explore it, which would be pretty interesting to do. You know, you could have the alien randomly moving around, or you could have it deliberately moving around. It's up to you. And now here's a... Um, uh, a mission here with uh, Hope's Last Stand. This actually follows Hadley's Hope and the situation where um, the facehuggers um, got into the colony and started impregnating people and going against them. So you can play what happens when Newt's family brings the, the chestburster back to the station, and you can actually play out the last moments of Hadley's Hope, which is pretty cool. And it's got maps of Hadley's Hope, which I'm really grateful for because before this diagram the only places i've seen any maps of hadley's hope was in the um uh the colonial marines uh video game manual um uh, which are the levels for that um and there, there's very few maps you could find online but this is awesome this just lays it out for you tells you about the bar and the casino and all the different sub levels and 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 sections of hadley's hope you get into even more close-up grids of, of the different rooms and the layout like this, if you like Hadley's Hope at all, this is this is like a necessary guide to Hadley's Hope right here. Um, now here's a little star map for space combat. Kind of use this to to figure out certain factors. Then you have your character building sheets. So here's the front and back of the character sheets. Or I guess you could just print them off as two separate pages. And you have your index, cool little face hugger logo. Then you're greeted with the map yet again. So, there we go. So that's all that's in the role-playing game book. Now we have here the expansion. This is the Alien role-playing game uh, Chariot of the Gods expansion. And this is just a scenario that deals with Neomorphs and uh, basically kind of an Alien Covenant sort of setup. But it has some really cool maps. So we have a tow vehicle, much like in the first Alien. It's got all your characters already fleshed out for you. So it really doesn't take too much imagination. You've got, you know, you can just play this out as a package. Got the map of your ship. Cryo deck. Yeah, this is the ship. Actually, yeah, this looks like the ship from um, uh, Alien Covenant. Uh, it looks very similar to that. God, the maps are so cool. I just love maps and games. I think they're really fun. And it tells you about all the different things happening. It's separated in acts. So you have Act 1, where the Neomorphs kind of come into being. And from what I've read in this, you know, you have um, you have a traitor planted in with the players, which could be an NPC or one of the players. And, um, and then the players could either choose to go down to the planet um, or they can uh, choose to fight against the other companies. Um, there's another company that's trying to get, interfere with what Wayland Yutani's doing. So you've got agendas and all that kind of fun stuff. So there you go. 
so that's the expansion. Now the expansion is just a little little um, stapled together pamphlet. Like it's not that great of quality. Um, and in fact, you know, this, this book is not great of quality either, but I think the images are very moody. They're very in line with the Alien uh, series, especially the new movies. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a very sim simple uh, role-playing game from what I've read. It seems pretty easy to play and to navigate. Now we'll show you the cards. Okay. So here we go. We have cards for the pilot. It's got everything already on the back of each of these cards. So it makes this really easy to play. So if you don't want to, want to worry about character creation, just get the deck of cards and then got everything you already need written on the back of these cards for these guys. So if you want a simpler game where they don't have to fill out that big old character sheet, this gives you something to work with. I'll let you guys pause the video if you want to really read these. I'm just going to go through each one. Yeah, the artwork isn't my favorite artwork, but again, I, th I think it's fine for this product. It's definitely that alien mood. Okay, so there's the characters. We got the Cheyenne, APC, little tractor. Incinerator units. The yep, got a couple. The same thing. You got a couple of these, so you can hand these out to the players. They're gonna be carrying these around. The cost. I'm really happy I got these. these. This will make ease of game go a lot faster. There's one thing I hate, it's looking up rules. And looking up rules, that's going to just slow down your game. Dude, 800 bucks for a pulse rifle, not bad. Must not have terrible inflation in the future. A bolt gun there. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I know where that pistol's from. It's from the first Alien movie. That Magnum revolver. That's pretty cool. Service pistol. All right, let's see. Initiative cards. What are these about? Okay. So you can, uh, instead of rolling for initiative, you can draw for initiative. There you go. So that was Free League's Alien, the role-playing game. I hope this was informative. I hope this helps you out if you're looking at buying this product. And, oh wait, do I have a couple cards stuck in here? Oh, I forgot this guy. All right, so again, like I said, I hope this helps you decide if you wanna buy this product. If you're an Alien fan, I, I highly recommend this product. I'm gonna put a link to an Amazon thing and in the description below so if you do buy it um, i might get a little kickback which would be nice if you want to help me out um but yeah so that you have uh these three products available also there's dice that go with this um there i've heard rumor that they're um they're doing pre-orders right now for another campaign book uh set for a colonial marine battle um but again if you want to do like the hadley hope scenario that's pretty awesome it's also got a, a spaceport um scenario in here and Charity with Gods does the Alien Covenant type of uh, scenario. So um, I think that's it to say about this game. Uh, check me back and I will show you more videos of more fun stuff.